Hi, everyone. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. A little sleepy, but but here we ready are. Ready for the class. <laughs> ready for the class. Awesome. Paul, why are you in the dark? Why are you hiding from us? What's <laughs> 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 your <a> secret? <laughs> Okay, um, do you have questions about anything that we saw, that we previously saw in the module? About a topic in specific? Because you know, the plan for tonight is to practice speaking, right? Talk about fun topics, uh, get you to practice so that you can work on your fluency. But if you have questions, I can also help you with that. So, okay. No, no questions? No questions. I guess you're ready to practice then. So we're going to be talking about various topics. One of them will be a family. Later we will watch a video, okay? But let me see. There. I'll send you those questions. We can discuss them in small groups, all right? If you make mistakes or if somebody's making mistakes in your group, please tell them what it is, help them, all right? Use your best pronunciation, try to use the vocabulary, make it more, uh, try to cooperate, okay? And if you have questions, let me know. Let me see, we're gonna work in pairs, three, no, in groups of three. All right, so let's get speaking. Let's not waste any time. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. From from traits, personality traits. Okay, okay. Well, what are we going to do? Only talk uh, with those different questions. Yeah, discuss the questions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. How do members of a family support each other? Uh, listening. <laughs> <laughs> By listening to one another. What else? By listening to one another. Giving money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By crying the with them. <laughs> crying with you. <laughs> Uh, we have to be a uh, emotional support for our family. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. That's a way to make a support for our family. I, I think it's hard to hear you, Eduardo. Can you get the microphone closer? Uh, yeah. Now, it's better. No, I think it's the same. Are you having difficulties hearing Eduardo? Just a little. Mm -hmm. Or speak uh, yes. louder. Eduardo, could you speak louder or get the microphone closer? Okay. And now, do you hear me clearly? No, it's better. Just louder. Better. But okay. <laughs> All right. Who do you think has the most power in the me. family? Uh, usually the, the mom, 
<laughs> the mom has the most power. Really? I don't think. Yes. <laughs> yes. They manage uh, all the men usually. I, I really agree with you. How, Eduardo? Why? Why? Because of my mom in a real support for my life. I agree with you. Oh, <laughs> they have the most power. Carla, what do you think? The women usually uh, manage to, to, I don't know, make everybody does whatever she wants. Hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> but usually it's, it's well, at, at least Latin American family, I think. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because they're the mother, I think. <laughs> they gave birth to children, so they're like, I have rights. <laughs> okay, very good. Somebody, somebody told me, somebody told me that in South America. I was a child uh, so many times, and when I was uh, idle, um, when you were emotional, ill? Um, what? When you were ill, you mean? Ill. What is that? Sick. Sick. Uh, sick or ill? Ill. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. When I was ill in emotional, emotionally, too, and some so much so many times and um, in different uh, times mm -hmm. and and they uh, they helped you women uh, mm -hmm. this what they 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 encourage that yeah uh, or they foster that uh, not foment that it's not the same it's foster in english uh, i i want to i want to say uh, fomentar yeah foster foster mm -hmm, they foster that very good what question are you discussing jacqueline this one this one the first one oh the first one okay let's read mm -hmm. the next one alexandra okay who do you think has the most power in the family and why Mm -hmm. Well, I think, in my personal opinion, it's mother. <laughs> Mothers do why? Well, well, in my case, I really love my dad, but my mom is like the rock of the family because she is really strong. So, I, I, I always, when I was a child, I, I think, I thought, sorry that my mom, it was like a superhero to me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because Why? she's really strong. She's really a powerful woman. You know, like an independent woman. So basically that is the reason to me. That's good. Paul and Jacqueline, mm -hmm. who's the most powerful person in the family? Family, the most power, powerful person maybe is my little brother because and he Jacqueline. has control for many things. Jacqueline, can you put your microphone closer? Let's see, maybe that's better. In my case, the most powerful person is my little brother because he throws for, for a Always, I can say cirugia. Ah, surgery. surgery. My connection is 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 bad. Have problems with my internet. No, we can still hear you. Yeah, he had a surgery. That's why. Oh no! And how old is he? Can hear you. How old is he? How old is he? About eight. Uh, 
10 years, 10 years. Oh, poor and thing. He's, he's, uh, I, she, he always is very happy and I don't know, I admire because he's a strong. You admire him. Oh, that's so sweet. Paul, who's the most powerful person for you in the family? In my case, I think my my father's. Oh, your my parents. father, my father and my mother, my mother and my father. Ah, two. Uh, put, put. <laughs> your parents, yeah. Put. Yeah, mm -hmm. my parents, um, mm -hmm. and they were um, always very lovers with me. Very loving. Loving with me and. <laughs> And I am uh, for for I am that they made with me. Okay, you are the result of their education or something. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, uh, exactly. oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are the outcome of their values, their education. Very good. Do you agree with the saying, children should be seen and not heard? Why do you agree or disagree? Completely. I don't understand this statement. Could you please explain it to us? No, it's simply what you see here, that you sh they should be seen, you should be observing children, not listening to them. Mm. Do you agree or disagree with that? No, I completely disagree. disagree. I completely disagree. I am, you don't use the verb be with agree or disagree. I'm completely no, disagree. No, no. no, without the verb be. Ah. ah, okay. I completely disagree. Right. Okay. Why? You studied psychology, right? Yeah, you studied okay. psychology. Tell us why. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, in my opinion, Children, children has to be here because in, I don't know how to explain, because children, um, how can I explain? They always say the truth. Basically, but they are a human beings, no matter if they are children ah. or they are too innocent or whatever. They have an opinion, so we have to hear it. Because if you don't hear your children, maybe other person could be, could do, and maybe could be dangerous. Because if you don't hear your children, your family, or something, maybe other persons could be bad with them. And you don't know. You will know. You will don't know. Uh -huh. you, could you, want, you want to realize. You want. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, Alexandra. So you say, they are human, human beings, regardless of their age. Okay. They are human beings, beings, regardless of their age. Of their age. Uh -huh. That means that you don't pay attention to whether they are children or adults. They're still human beings, regardless of their age. Regardless of the What is the meaning of regardless? Sin importar, maybe. Um, their age. Okay. Regardless of their age. Regardless like of the age. Okay. Thank you. And you guys, what do you think? I'll be back. Bad. No, we're not too close. No, I'm only with my my mom. <laughs> huh? I even not closer to my mom. Really? I need to. Yeah, I need to travel.
Okay. For some of you, it was a deep conversation <laughs> talking about family. All right. Uh, let me see. Is everybody back? No, not yet. Let's wait. Now everybody's here, I think. So look, we are going to talk about dreaming now. Try to have fun, guys. Tell your secrets. I don't know. Whatever happens to you, be honest, okay? Um, I have two options for you. We're going to vote, okay? So we can watch, we're going to watch one video and discuss their topics, all right? So we can watch this video that says, why do we dream? Okay, so the reasons why the, the body needs to dream and stuff or seven common dream meanings. Okay, let's vote. Paul, which one do you vote for? Dream meanings or why do we dream? Remember, you're on mute. Everybody's on mute. Why do we dream? Why do we dream? Okay, Fatima, come on. Dream meetings or why do we dream? Why do we dream? Okay, that has two votes so far. Eduardo. Dream meetings or why do we dream? Eduardo. No, why do we dream? Okay, Jacqueline. I don't hear you. You're on mute, Roberto. Dream meanings. You want to know the meaning, Roberto? Dream meanings. Two, two votes. This is going to be complicated, okay, <laughs> Alexandra? Seven common dream meanings. Oh my gosh, we're tied. Three versus three. <laughs> Carla? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carla, me. Uh huh. Uh, okay, Fatima? Dream meaning. <laughs> Alicia? Well, even if Patricia votes for why do we dream, this has already won. So this is the one we're going to watch. Look, this is what we have to do, guys. Get the notebook ready. Okay, I want you to write the main ideas. First, focus on writing the main ideas, okay? And also write new vocabulary. We might watch it twice because I need you to get the main ideas because then we're going to discuss the seven meanings. So you need to remember the seven meanings and be able to explain them. Then the second time we watch the video, we will write down vocabulary. If we watch it twice, you will decide. So let's watch. At first glance, dreams might be just fictional scenarios. At first glance, dreams might be just fictional scenarios our minds make up when we're sleeping. But what if there's more to them than just stories we tell others or write about after? Although there's no scientific evidence to prove that dreams hold special meaning, for many years they have been studied to promote better self-awareness and to help us understand what's bothering us in our everyday lives. According to Suzanne Bergman, a social worker and dream specialist, dreams are a universal language creating often elaborate images out of emotional concepts. Have you been recognizing certain themes you frequently dream about? Here are seven common dream meanings. One, being lost or trapped. This is a common dream many people have. Being lost or trapped usually means you're unsure about what step to take next from a particular circumstance in real life. People who dream about getting lost in the woods, a large building, or any maze-like structure in general often feel overwhelmed and can't seem to find a way out. This reflects the mental, physical, financial, or emotional burdens they're experiencing in real life. 2. Missed opportunities. Do you ever dream about missing public transportation, such as a bus, train, plane, or taxi? Often, people who dream about such scenarios tend to miss them only by a fraction of a second. This can also pertain to scenarios where you dream about being late for a job interview, performance, or special event. In real life, these dreams may reflect the regrets you have for not going after what you wanted, whether that means missing out on seeing your favorite band perform live or not applying for your dream job on time. 3. Car Troubles People who dream about these scenarios usually find themselves in or near a car vehicle. 
They can either be the driver or the passenger when they experience a brake failure, flat tire, or getting hit by another car. In real life, this typically means that you feel like you don't have control over a certain situation, or you might be headed for trouble in the future. 4. Failing a test Contrary to what it sounds like, people who dream of this scenario are usually no longer in school. Common dream scenarios involve having trouble finding the test room, being unprepared from lack of studying, or missing equipment to complete it. They indicate that you are feeling tested in real life, which makes you anxious about what your future holds. 5. Being chased This is a common dream people with anxiety often have. They usually dream about being chased by an animal, person, or something you cannot readily identify. In real life, it means that they are trying to run away from a certain situation, or it could be an emotion they are not ready to confront yet, whether it's grief or a breakup. 6. Tooth Decay Have you ever dreamed about reaching into your mouth only to feel your teeth fall out, or that there is a missing gap? This indicates that you may feel insecure in real life, unattractive, or not good enough, whether it pertains to school, your work life, or romantic relationship. You may also have a fear of being embarrassed or judged by others. 7. Falling or Sinking People who dream of this scenario often find themselves falling from a high building or sinking into an ocean. They usually feel helpless and overwhelmed. It's a common misconception to believe that having those dreams mean a foreshadow to your own death. But in reality, they indicate your fear of falling or that you're not content with where you are in life. You may need to carve a new path or make some new choices to help you find meaning again. Which of these themes do you commonly dream about? If you have a special topic request you'd like us to explore next, make sure to let us know in the comments. All right. Um, did you write new vocabulary? Some words. Some words. Did you mm -hmm. write all the seven types of dreams and their meanings? No. <laughs> no. So, yeah, because no. we're going to discuss, we're going to discuss the seven themes and their meanings right after this video. So this time, write it down, please. And if you have time, also write down vocabulary. For example, the word pertain to, which is very commonly used to express ideas. Do you ever use this word? No. Yeah, no. that's something you have to be using, right? Meaning that it is related or it has to do with that topic. So this is an important word. Um, I don't know if I have more vocabulary. I took a lot of, for example, headed Glance. to trouble. Glance. Sorry? Glance. A, a glance is a quick look. So take a glance is like to observe something quickly. All right, headed to trouble. You know the meaning of that? No. I know that you are headed for trouble, it says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means, it, headed means to go. Um, you can say, I'm going home or I'm heading home. It's a synonym. Head as a verb is a synonym of go. Okay. So you can say, for example, I am heading home right now. So yeah, that's why it is important not to only listen to videos, guys, or to watch them, but you need to write down stuff so that you can start using new vocabulary. So let's watch it again. Write down the seven meanings and some vocabulary if you can, because we're going to discuss them afterwards, okay? Ready? It's not five minutes. It's only four. This is about what? Yeah, yeah. Four minutes. Pay close attention. Be ready. Plans. Dreams might be. At first glance, dreams might be just fictional scenarios our minds make up when we're sleeping. But what if there's more to them than just stories we tell others or write about after? Although there's no scientific evidence to prove that dreams hold special meaning, for many years they have been studied to promote better self-awareness and to help us understand what's bothering us in our everyday lives. According to Suzanne Bergman, a social worker and dream specialist, Dreams are a universal language, creating often elaborate images out of emotional concepts. Have you been recognizing certain themes you frequently dream about? Here are seven common dream meanings. 1. 
Being lost or trapped. This is a common dream many people have. Being lost or trapped usually means you're unsure about what step to take next from a particular circumstance in real life. People who dream about getting lost in the woods, a large building, or any maze-like structure in general often feel overwhelmed and can't seem to find a way out. This reflects the mental, physical, financial, or emotional burdens they're experiencing in real life. 2. Missed Opportunities Do you ever dream about missing public transportation, such as a bus, train, plane, or taxi? Often, people who dream about such scenarios tend to miss them only by a fraction of a second. This can also pertain to scenarios where you dream about being late for a job interview, performance, or special event. In real life, these dreams may reflect the regrets you have for not going after what you wanted, whether that means missing out on seeing your favorite band perform live or not applying for your dream job on time. 3. Car Troubles People who dream about these scenarios usually find themselves in or near a car vehicle. They can either be the driver or the passenger when they experience a brake failure, flat tire, or getting hit by another car. In real life, this typically means that you feel like you don't have control over a certain situation, or you might be headed for trouble in the future. 4. Failing a test Contrary to what it sounds like, people who dream of this scenario are usually no longer in school. Common dream scenarios involve having trouble finding the test room, being unprepared from lack of studying, or missing equipment to complete it. They indicate that you are feeling tested in real life, which makes you anxious about what your future holds. 5. Being chased This is a common dream people with anxiety often have. They usually dream about being chased by an animal, person, or something you cannot readily identify. In real life, it means that they are trying to run away from a certain situation, or it could be an emotion they are not ready to confront yet, whether it's grief or a breakup. 6. Tooth Decay have you ever dreamed about reaching into your mouth only to feel your teeth fall out? Or that there is a missing gap? This indicates that you may feel insecure in real life, unattractive, or not good enough, whether it pertains to school, your work life, or romantic relationship. You may also have a fear of being embarrassed or judged by others. 7. Falling or Sinking People who dream of this scenario often find themselves falling from a high building or sinking into an ocean. They usually feel helpless and overwhelmed. It's a common misconception to believe that having those dreams mean a foreshadow to your own death. But in reality, they indicate your fear of falling or that you're not content with where you are in life. You may need to carve a new path or make some new choices to help you find meaning again. Which of these themes do you commonly dream about? If you have a special topic request you'd like us to explore next, make sure to let us know in the comments section below. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. All right, so are you ready to talk about the seven types of dreams and their definition or their meaning? Yes. Okay, right. and then after you finish with the definitions, I would like you to discuss which of those dreams you have had and if it was a reality that you were uh, experiencing the meaning of it. Is that clear? So talk about the meaning and then if it has happened to you. All right. Ready? Ready. Let me see. I'm going to make new groups. Mm, how, do we, how many people do we have? One second. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Use the vocabulary. Hi, Fatima. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And um, you got it the same. Titles of dreams. Yes, I guess. Yeah, tell me the the number four. The number four. Number four, please. Could you okay. tell me the number four? 
the, well, let's, the name. Let's discuss number one. <laughs> the first one, let's go in order so that we don't lose track. The first one is being lost or being lost. Uh -huh. No, only, 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 only number four. Four. Number four. Which one is it? Four. Number four. 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 I think it is falling a test. Ah, failing a test. Failing a test. Yeah. Uh -huh. Failing. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, okay. Only, only. Why only that one, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, tell us, what's the definition of number four, Paul? <laughs> falling a test. I never have... Uh, a dream like like that. Okay, but what is the meaning of it? Um, falling at this. Failing. Failing. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't write the definition, but um, I understand a little. Falling at this. No, failing. Failing, failing at this. Uh, if a relation with insecurity mm -hmm. in in the work area, uh, relationship, or study. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they said. All right. Uh, is that what you wrote, Fatima and Roberto? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had that dream? Of failing a test? I haven't had that one. Hmm. Mm. Maybe, maybe that I had a test the next day. <laughs> so it, it's, not a, it's not about something else. <laughs> okay, well, describe the first one, Robert. Yeah. Getting lost. What's the yeah. meaning of that one? Yes, or trapped. Um, the first one, mm -hmm. being lost or, or okay. trapped. Um, the meaning is when. Uh, we don't know how um, or we don't have control about uh, some situation uh -huh. control over you say over a certain over. situation uh -huh. what did you write what did you... Hold on. Um, Um, I never had that type of dream, that car problems. All of the lists, I only have the deep decay. Ah, and falling is when you are make that. I don't know. Well, I don't when know you dream. I when you dream about you are falling and you are, I don't know how to say you. And, and you wake jump. up abruptly. Uh huh. You wake up abruptly and you feel you are really falling. <laughs> don't ever, I, don't ever feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I often f dream about flying. Oh, really? Oh, often, really? very often. Uh, What's the um, meaning of that? Can you Google put dreaming of flying meaning? I want to see. Uh, that's very interesting because it doesn't happen often. You know, my often dream or my recurring dream is my teeth falling. What, what's the meaning of that one? Me too. Really? Yes, I... Okay, but I have a theory or a, a hypothesis. Jacqueline, you dream of that. I hear, I hear that when you feel that your theta frost is when you are, are going to be in some situation, some difficult situation, mm -hmm. and you are afraid for that, but I'm not sure this is You're afraid true. of that, yeah. 
No, uh, this is my hypothesis. Do you, uh -huh. do you have bruxism, Jacqueline? Broken? Bruxism? What is that? That you, that you grind your teeth like at night? Mm, I don't know. Yes. I, I know that I'm speaking when I'm asleep, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if I do you, that. You have to ask because people say, oh, it means you're going to have problems or something. And I think that when I don't wear the thing to avoid uh, grinding my teeth, that's when I dream of falling or my teeth falling or something happening to my teeth. I don't know if you understand that. Mm. So the thing is you have to wear a guard, right, at night so that you don't do the tra 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 so much and it doesn't affect you. But when I don't wear it, I always dream. Like the like the boxer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like the yeah, boxer yeah, yeah. playing that. Yes, I wear something like that every night. And if I don't wear it, I have bad dreams about my teeth. So maybe you're Wow, so this is new for me. That that's interesting. Well it's it mm -hmm. makes sense. Okay. Uh -huh, right more sense than the other definitions of it so or the other meanings so Jacqueline check that out and you should probably get one of those ask somebody or record yourself while sleeping or ask somebody if you do the at night mm. because maybe that's what yes because is. record yourself mm. with the telephone yep you should do it <laughs> I will do a an, an live on Instagram to all my friends. <laughs> yes, that, that's a good idea. <laughs> like an influencer. Uh, <laughs> what does it mean? Welcome to my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say, no, no, no. usually they occur when we are dealing with issues of freedom, momentum, or lack thereof. I, uh, I, I think my, my issue is with the freedom. Really? What is what is the meaning of lack? Lack is absence. It, uh, the, like if you have lack of water, you have the the assessment. What is the other word? Out? Oh, no. It's the test. That's the meaning. Ah. Okay. And well, lack, the therefore, there is Carla. Ah, because uh, I, I, if I want to go to a party or something, I have to ask for, for permission. Or... <gasps> are you kidding me? How old are you, Carla? 32. Yeah, you probably feel very frustrated. And your dreams, you're, you're wanna be free, like a... Uh... Like a bear, no. like a bear. Ah, he's not thinking of a like, bird. <laughs> like an eagle. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Uh, that's my issue. Oh, that I have problems. Sense. All makes sense. Uh, hmm. Let me check on all. I have these dreams. Uh, uh, maybe uh, about uh, before a test, or you like feel like a fear. Uh, yes, feel. Mm -hmm. uh, or mm. anxiety. 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 Okay. Well, next one. Number five. Being chased. Being chased. I remember yeah. it's about to be or to feel anxious mm -hmm. about the situation because you feel that you're going to be chased for an animal or a situation in this case. I just a few memories of this because I, I didn't grind. Let me see. I, I think this dream uh, means when you try run away from some situation. Mm. Mm. You want to confront, they said, or face. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's trying to avoid problems, could be. Or or um, obligations. That's what it means. Responsibilities could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had okay. that dream? No. No. Because <laughs> mostly of the time, I don't remember what I dream. Oh. As a Roberto, because I have a deep sleep, it's the right 
term? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Well, when you finish, there are some questions about dreaming that you can discuss. You can start right now if you would like to. It says, for example, do you dream I in have... color or in black or black and white? Some people some said dogs. Students have told me they dream in black and white. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. That's new for me. That's really new for me. But I <laughs> think when you dream about the past. I don't know, oh, you're right, maybe. Uh -huh. But they, said, sense. they yeah. said that it was more common in the past when people used to watch movies in black and white. They had a lot of dreams uh -huh. in black and white. So uh -huh. that makes sense. I will try because I'm really <laughs> interested. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Because those questions, I sent them to the group. Or you can finish the the discussion about the, the video. It's up to you. Okay, well, uh, okay. if you are okay, we can discuss these questions because they yeah. are really interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay, how mm -hmm. of dreaming in lies? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, had really dream. Have, I had that dream, I had that dream. Dreaming is a positive, this is, it's a positive. A positive dream according to dream. Uh, Sorry, when positive. you finish, you can discuss the questions that I sent. Guys, uh, do you uh, want to work? Do you want to work with Eduardo and Paul, or just the two of you? What do you prefer? You're gonna decide. We are good. You're good like this. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so when you finish, uh, discuss the questions that I sent to the group. Okay. okay. Uh, They're about dreams, anyway. I have. I have. I have. TTK is uh, lost a, a T. Lost a T. Uh -huh. Losing a T. A tooth. Losing a T. A tooth. Yeah, okay. I sent some questions to the group about dreaming. Guys, do you dream in color or black and white? Full color. Full color. Dreaming in color. High quality. <laughs> HD. <laughs> Some people I have dream with pink white elephant white. dancing in my dream. Sorry. No, really, really, really don't don't remember if I was dreamed in color or black or white. Uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery that because uh, no, I can say. I can say that, uh, really. That is a mystery. No, they say that in the past people used to dream black and white, but because they used to watch uh, TV in black and white. So that makes sense, right? That's the last image you get, and then you dream black and white. What about you, Eduardo? Really, really, really. Mm -hmm. I, no, the I dream in third, third dimension. I remember when I was a mm kid, -hmm. they now motocross jumping and the motorcycle uh -huh. and I remember that I saw people slapping me <laughs> and I remember the colors of oh wow the motorcycle <laughs> yeah I remember that I'm sure, sure, sure. sure about it so, so you're we sure can dream in colors you're dreaming colors very good all right and uh, let's see another question all right. Have you ever Morning. had a flying dream? Yeah. Hey, that, I have a question. That, How do you fly? That, Horizontally or vertically? That, <laughs> that, are, my, right? that, are, that are my favorite dreams uh, when I can uh, fly. Yes. Yeah. How do you fly? Horizontally or Me. vertically? I can see, see me, myself, see know. myself. I can see myself, but I see the world. Okay, and you as <laughs> one. <laughs> I dream in that kind of dreams, being awake. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, I dream that, and I remember that I was flying vertically. I guess. Yes, because I was going high up. Well, okay, great. You can continue talking. I'll be back. 
voices and just <laughs> see things like yes. ghosts and demons. <laughs> and it's really scary. Yeah. It's a, it, it's a sleep disorder or a sleep paralyzed. We are talking about, do you know the meaning or do you know the term in Spanish, paralysis del sueño? Yes, sleep paralysis. Yes, sleep paralysis. Uh -huh. Oh, I only had that once and the whole day I felt really bad. I don't know why. <laughs> I oh, never yes. feel that, but my sister did. And she told me that it was really scary because she basically wake up, but she can move. Mm -hmm. And she start to hear voices, and she start to mm -hmm. see things like ghosts and demons and things like that. It was really scary for her. Wow. <laughs> but it was your that <clears throat> was your your experience, you see. No, I it only happened it to me once, this. and and I woke up and I couldn't move. So I was like, oh, I know what I have to do. I have to move at least one finger. So I focused all my attention on moving one finger, like move it, move it, move it, move it. And then I did it and I sat down when I could. But in my mind, I was thinking, if I go back to sleep, I will continue on this. So I need to wake mm -hmm. up and do something. So I, I mm -hmm. but yeah, I didn't have hallucinations like some people with demons and stuff. No, I just, I focus my attention on moving my hands. That's it. Mm -hmm. so, have you ever experienced that, Fatima or Roberto? No, no. Thanks, Gab. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very, very I feel it this. Happened. Roberto, what happened? I feeling I feel like this when um, I felt this. Not so, I'm feeling right now. I felt where I experienced this. Oh, okay. I felt when uh, I was so tired. Mm -hmm. um, work too much, too much, and um, yeah. Listen, listen, some. No, voices. Really. <laughs> noises or voices? Noise. 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 I uh, heard noise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think uh, oh, I won't wake up, but to wake up. I think, I think, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> and try wake up, but uh, no, no. <laughs> you yeah, it's really bad. I read an article that say basically that if you are too tired or too stressed, stressful, mm -hmm. you you can have it once. No, or if you, if you if you sleep, I don't know how to say on your back. On your back. On your back. Like yes. On the uh -huh. <laughs> very the possibilities are high. You will bring. It. Uh -huh. <laughs> basically and what is the other cause I... then you have lucid dreams have you ever had lucid dreams where you can control things yeah I have it not able to move it occurs when a person faces between stages and wake fullness and sleep uh. yeah basically you wake up and you can't move Jacqueline is burning. Yes. It's scary, right? Yes, I was screaming, but they, they don't say nothing. Uh -huh. They just wait. <laughs> and I went, I, I, I went to cry. <laughs> like I can sleep and I can see nothing and I can do nothing. Yes, it's very frustrating and scary. I know. Yes. It happened to you, Jesse, just once. Just once, but I didn't have hallucinations. I didn't see anything negative. I, I just couldn't move. And then the rest of the day, I felt like something was chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, but I didn't see anything, luckily. It would have been even more scary. What's a ghost holding your feet? No, that never <laughs> happened. <laughs> no, never. I'm going to go back now. Uh, okay.
Nobody wants to come back except you. <laughs> I'm waiting for everyone else to come back. Hold on. Jyoti, yesterday I did my my whole test. So I got What did you get? Oh, the certificate? Yeah, at that point it was my mistake. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. You already finished. Um, this is no problem. No, no, no. It's not a problem. As long as you pass it above 80%, I think, it's okay. All right. Did you find it interesting? Did you work with your fluency? Work on your fluency, I hope? Yeah. You got a little practice? Very I like good. it. You liked it? I need it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We had time, so. Sorry, Carla, what did you say? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, the good thing is we had time, so we could practice. Uh, do you have any questions? I have a question about the final test. It will be tomorrow in the class, or we have to do it before the class? Yes. I'm not like sure about I would like everybody to do it before class, so I will still do it with you. So you have to give me the answers, as always. But tomorrow, do it class. Mm -hmm. but we have to do it before. Okay. Okay. Before class, so you will share the answers with me, and in case that there is a problem with the platform, something you don't understand in the test, I mm -hmm. will get the answers for you. That's the reason. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. other than that. Yeah, I, I cannot do the exam for everyone. So I would <laughs> encourage you to do it before class and then give me the answers. If there's a problem with the platform, I'll help you. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a beautiful Thank night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good dreams. <laughs> Good dreams. <laughs>